Defense is going to get the football back. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From the 23, here's the second and five. Back to throw, Jones. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also, like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game to all their teammates. Maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. One fifty-eight left to play till we hit halftime. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. And now a sneak. Tannehill trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it, and now it's fourth down. Well, that play seemed well scouted defensively. They collapsed everything inside. Nowhere to go on the quarterback sneak. Now it's going to bring up fourth down. Field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. They get this out quickly to the left side. Touchdown! Jahan Dotson taking it in. And the Black Knights go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Down the left sideline. And he'll take this all the way down inside the 40. Wait a second, they declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back? Now let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, take the football. Always take the football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? Second and ten. Play action, Tannehill. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. And it's caught. Touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Ryan Tannehill. And the Black Knights are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Well, it's only week one, CD, but right now this offense, they look in mid-season form. And what we're seeing is the benefits of all their dedication in the offseason, OTAs, mini camps, preseason, you name it, they did it. All that work and preparation, we're seeing them play really well right now. They're making it all pay off. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. And apparently not liking what was taking place, so he'll just tuck it and take the sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Operating from the gun, Jones. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But he did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Glenn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. 
And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Motion man left is Lazard. Jones on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Uh, just more frustration here offensively, and you can see it in their play and now their body language. You know they were hoping to put a drive together to begin this third quarter, but it's just not clicking right now. And it's going to be a quick call to the punt team. It'll be just an 18-yard punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now Tannehill. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Back to throw, Tannehill. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And give him a gain of 37. Everything's been going right here in this one. This offense, they've been in complete control from the outset. And here's another big play. These kind of routes have been open all game long, and they continue to take advantage. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Now Tannehill. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And third and eight now. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It was Miles Garrett that time who got in there and brought him down. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. He hit his first one. This from 44 yards out now. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. I got to think at this point, third quarter, if you're able to hold on to the ball, get three at the end, that's all you're looking for. I would agree with that because right now, this is a job well done by them. In fact, it's almost time for handshakes, a little dap on the sidelines, maybe even start to discuss post-game plans. And for the guys who haven't played yet, go ahead and get loose. Your time is now. Oh, 
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. All right, saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blow out, let's just say it's been unusual. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome, but completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about any First time this game, multiple defenders in there to drop him. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here we go, here we go. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Back to throw, Jones. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Let's go, take it to the house. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto, and so the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Oh, and that is incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. And the slot man goes in motion left. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. We can see offensive pass interference called on this play from time to time. The tight end's going to sell that he's going outside. Let the slot receiver come past and then work himself back to the inside. Sure enough, he's left. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that is now his fifth interception thrown in this game. And Charles, you've got to tip your cap to this defense. I mean, they have been so impressive reading these passes, stepping in those lanes and picking them off. Yeah, sometimes the best offense is an excellent defense. And they've done exactly that. What do you think, partner? A season's worth the highlights in just four quarters? I think that's what we're seeing from this group. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold 
with this second down call after that type of a game. Now second and five. Tannehill now to throw. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. And he's going to get this one to the 23 yard line. goes Patrick. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Drake. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Well, a lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. Second down and goal. Jones, and it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Hunter Henry from six yards away. And the Vikings take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Extra point up and good by Shudak. And the lead drops from 34 down to 27. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They can definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. Now it's Tannehill. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Miles Garrett in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. And this offense on third down today, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. Tannehill. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and 10. Here's Tannehill. Buying time to his left. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. Great gains back to back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like, 
that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. And it's caught. Touchdown. Make that now four touchdown passes for Ryan Tannehill. And the Black Knights are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been. And my goodness, another interception. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Up the middle, it's Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. touchdowns and the black knights add six more to their point total and they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth Koo able to connect on the extra point and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things. And now here's another interception. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. And he's got some space here. And he's out of bounds. 
Evans almost gets to the 10. And they get Pro Bowl tackle Trent Williams for the infraction there. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They give it to Williams, running right. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Here's Tannehill. Eluding the pressure right. Keeps himself upright. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Tannehill. And incomplete on the deep ball. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early week was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now a second and ten. Here we go. 11, 11. To throw again. Jones. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Now this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. Now Jones finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 11 more on that one and another first down. Elliott running right. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Throwing Jones. He's got the hook up to Lazard. Two yards on the pickup there. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here we go. 
Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. To throw again on second down. Jones. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that will be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but... I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Play action. It's Tannehill. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. this afternoon it's Williams on a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28 yard line the city always a little extra excited
look good, don't she? On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, even though I got plenty, if I'm down to my last penny, I still gotta. Catching the vibe. I told the valet, take your time, it might get a ride. I'm floating through the front door, my mind is tied. Good Lord, mama, you know you're looking divine. I had to turn around, double take, take a look at that. Girl, you got good taste, where you cook it at? You can mingle with the cool kids. I'm out here sweating like a preacher in a pool pit. Even when I'm down bad, I know how to bounce back. I know I got her. And she look good, don't she? On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, and even though I got plenty, if I'm down to my last penny, I still got it. I know I got it. I know I got it. Even when I'm down bad, yeah, I know how to bounce back, cause you know I got it. And she look good, don't she? On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, even though I got plenty, if I'm down to my last penny, I still got it. Count this money, then I count my blessings. If I ever took an L, then it's still for lesson. I'm the one, ain't no second guessing. Tried to dim my light, but my soul fluorescent. Wait, I tried to stay, but depressing. I even prayed to God, he ain't get the message. I'm living in the present, they gon' feel my presence. You can't dim my light, cause I'm luminescent. I rose from the ashes of the section. I seen a stranger in my own reflection. I point the in my own direction I would've did it for my own protection wow. Keep debating about the go. I'm the one like two, three, four, five How you playing both sides? How I made one million, two million, multi How I made eight figures, eight million, four times And I was underutilized the whole time It's rigged I guess they couldn't find a gold mine, you dig? The sheep sleep for me, but the ghost co-sign I stopped thinking about the future Cause we got no time The world changed Damn World change. Yeah, I tried and failed. I see my best friend's jail, but betrayal was the real pain. <laughs> Damn, the world changed. Look, I built walls around the house, networking. All these blood suckers, I just hope this networking. So searching, broken hearted with my chest hurting. But I was gifted with the best curses. I'm suffocating and my weight keep fluctuating. I showed love, how the f you hating? Damn, I'm the greatest, but that's unrelated. I either overstay my welcome or I'm underrated. Lately, I've been trying to wake sleepers. The fake woke and the gatekeepers. Too shallow for big fish, I stay deeper. We all gotta meet the same reaper and the same maker, even if we never touch the same paper. Made enough for a surplus, quotas, but the money brought us much closer. Used to be silent when they load up. Remember that? Now they sit around and upload them. I swear the world changed. I swear to God the world changed. You should tell her that you love her now you can't even remember that girl name. <laughs> I swear to God the world changed. The world changed. Never leave the house without the pack. Where my 
at. Take an L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through with that. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, hype me up, hype me up. I ain't got it, but they hands to the ceiling. I ain't palm reading, but I got them in they feelings, yeah. Ain't vanilla ice, but I'm iced out chilling. Was the good guy till they made me the villain. Was gonna get a room, but they gave me a villa. I got games for a center. 20 bands for the dinner. 20 dips in a sprinter. What's a two up, two up, two up, two up? Never been afraid to play my cards. What's a risk to a winner? Barely hang out with these days. What's a lame to a real one? Never leave the house without the pack. Where my d at? Take an L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through with that. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Never turn my back on my guys when they need me. Gotta get respect for my job, it ain't easy. In a good mental state of God is the reason. This is plain Jane season. Fresh up off the plane in Japan, I ain't leaving. They say seeing is believing. Well, here's a briefcase with a million dollars even. This all week, no days off. This hard work gon' pay y'all. I made myself a promise young I would never work a day job Put it in the safe Never know when I'm gonna need that Came here with my gang You don't know where your homies at Gave you a lot of game You don't owe me back You say you a boss Gotta show me that Never leave the house without the pack Where my d at Take an L and try to double back We ain't doing that Say she mad but I know it's cap I've been through Incredibly, I do this competitively, inevitably. These fall silent when I walk up in the building. Worry about their future like I'm here to snatch their children. That line was brilliant. How I'm not already in the millions. Am I not the picture of resilience? Why they test my patience? Hyping all this lame. No one got a brain, they just be liking all the same. This is what the I'm in on in the street games. I'm convinced that nobody is speaking my language. I'm a kid and ass, so listen close when I say this. After every, 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 every,
thing I wrote gon' smoke so dangerous. I can make an Einstein feel brainless. But look on the bright side, hope he'll change it. I'ma get it started. Please give me a pardon. Cause this the type of beat that get the whole crowd marching. Time to shut it down, we made the whole town spartan. I'm from outer space, so all my homegirls marching. It's about to get critical. This moment is pivotal. Here to feed the streets that say my influence umbilical. We gon' make it grimy. They gon' get behind me. Told you I'm the best. I done said it with my chest. So for real, nobody try me. Down in the new town, I already feel that it's loud for me. I'm getting up, up, down with the big crowd. They already thrown by the size of me. I don't really give a fuck. Put my deuce up, I will not live in apology. I wish you lose my patron and you suck. I don't make way for a prodigy. And I say, one for the money and two for the love. We the new era, so whoever may feel they above. Live in delusion, that's an illusion, it's absent. Keep it together, don't act like you didn't know what it was. I'm on a whole nother planet, I'm about to show you. This wouldn't work if we planned it, meaning you won't understand it. We have to rings like a Saturn, this feel like splitting an atom. We got involved with the pattern, so now we up and we at them. Watch out for my evolution. Around and start a revolution. I am more than a being, I'm an institution. If I gotta reiterate, that's where I'ma lose it. It's my world and I'm generous in that job of it. How obnoxious, she ain't got a conscious. She's okay with being a little absurd and pompous. That's because I kill it, then stick around just to haunt it. Waiting on my thank you, be grateful that I would even let you watch it. Just down in the new town, I already feel that it's size for me. I'm getting looked up down with these big crowds, they already stoned by the size of me. I don't really give a fuck, but my deuce up, I will not live in the poverty. I wish you lose love and phony yourself, don't make way for a prodigy. Catch your breath for a second, look at your neighbor and check him. We bout to mop, so if you not get to step in. I done told you who I am, I'm a force to be reckoned with. I think just be mad because my voice is so decadent. I'm setting no precedent, no mistakes and no accident. We ignoring the standard set, cause our lowest is passionate. This alone is a classic hit, I'm a verb amongst adjectives. If the industry full of and in my words is a laxative. I'm a maniac on these beats, I'm insane and it's not discreet. I'm enraged because y'all ain't see it. I'm spraying on every street and obtaining no whack opinion. Who's saying we not elite? I'm over Balenciaga's, I'm changing into my Cleats, it's go time, it's show time. I ain't calming down until this place is a ghost town. Tired of the faking, we bringing back Motown. No sparing is go round. I'm taking no prisoners, so prepare for a showdown. Just down in the new town, I already feel that it's size for me. I'm getting hooked up down with the big crowd. They already thrown by the size of me. I don't really give a fuck. Put my deuce up, I will not live in apology. I wish you lose my patron and you suck. Don't make I'm getting hooked up down with these big frowns, they already thrown by the size of me. I don't really give a fuck, put my deuce up, I will not live in apology. I wish you lose love but truly yourself, don't make way for a prodigy. Bitch, I'm a mom, but I can't see me walking there. I'm with a Tesla, but it ain't no charge of that. I call up Cohen Brian. 
Kinda been parking the top, he bossy. So much in Archie, they cop like stuff.